welcome hi thanks for visiting the tech ARK IT YouTube channel please consider supporting me by subscribing to this channel I love sharing knowledge however it takes a lot of my time and effort please join the channel so that you will get early access to the content and special courses only available for the joined members which are not available to the public if you are enjoying my content please spread the learning by telling your friends family and co-workers about the tech ARK IT YouTube channel if you are looking for the training you can contact me on my email address aravikumar48 at gmail.com are you looking for help in Linux storage and monitoring related projects join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are in description below go to google and type proxmox and click on the downloads so you can see proxmox downloads and click on the proxmox virtual environment and iso images and click the latest version so proxmox 7.1 iso installer so which is the installer you can click on the download so it will download the iso file which we required for the installation part of it so I'm going to install this PV on the virtual machine so first of all I'm going to create the virtual machine just say new virtual machine next 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 here select the free BSD free BSD 64 bit and provide the name and path where you want to store this um, VM related files and click next and select the course so here you need to have at least four or six codes uh, maybe if you host some of the virtual machines on top of that so they require at least one or two cores and uh, RAM should be at least 8 GB so that uh, you have uh, some space to allocate to the um, virtual machines or the containers so all this and uh, next next and uh, store in a single hard drive and uh, here you provide at least 50 GB or 100 GB and then finish so after creating the VM so there are the specific settings we have to do in order to run the nested virtualization here so edit the virtual machine settings and click on the processor and select this virtualization here so this will support the virtualization otherwise you will get the error while installing the um, this PVE okay so I now select the uh, Proxmox version which is already downloaded and now click OK and now power on the virtual machine so after this uh, it, you can see that install the PVE virtual environment so just click select yes and uh, it will take a few moments to load this details and after that so you have to agree for the license agreement and here is the disk settings so you can create the partitions and uh, select the country here and the region and next and provide the password so remember this password should be a login your login password and email address in case if you want any notification so it will send you the notifications over here this email address and uh, assign the host name so which may be high in this case I see pve 2takrktlocal and provide the IP address and gateway DNS address and click install and select this auto restart whenever you install so, and so it will uh, take a few minutes to install this all this screen goes through then after that which will automatically reboot your virtual machine and it comes to the login prompt you can see so this is the fast forward uh, which will take a few minutes and now you can see the installation is successful then it will automatically reboot then it goes into the command line mode and uh, it will give you the URL uh, to access the web, web version of it so now you can see 
see this so this is the web version so you just go to the browser and type that 8006 is the port number remember so that that's what is accessible and wrote the username is default root and the password which you install uh, provided while installing so you can see this is the first screen of the PVE this is how it looks like so you can see that so there's a storage is created and you can just click on the summary it will show you 